All right, this is Calibos and we're playing Enigmatica 2. So one of the things that I thought about is let's do a little bit of automating as we go because this is going to be an issue. <clears throat> so first on, let's make some, let's uh, chuck those in there and uh, do that. So we'll, we'll start getting some steel done. Uh, so let's make another infusing factory. So these are steel blend and we can pretty much just put these in here and cook them into steel, hopefully. So one of the things that I'd like to do is because we're going to be needing a couple of these things repeatedly is I'd like to go ahead and set up automation with it. Now we're probably going to need, oh man, forgot. Let's set our power up. Uh, this is not where I wanted to end up. That's better. So let's unhook this so that our power will uh, will stay powerful. And then let's do this. <coughs> Tell I'm still not uh, not a hundred percent. So we're kind of going to set up a room like this for mechanism. We're still attempting to make 30,000 of those and 10,000 of these. So let's go back into the mechanism room. <clears throat> and what we need are a pattern terminal, really. That was not what I intended to do. <sighs> One of these days I will I'll master my inability to click on things. So let's make a pattern terminal. And you know, we can go ahead and let's see that can be checked in there. Let's get some smart smart cable. We'll put that there. Put that there. It should come up with a channel at any second now. So we're going to need an metallurgic infuser. So it should be super easy to build. And uh, Go ahead and put that there. And we'll let's see, it's got all the steel. Oops. All right, so we're probably going to want an installer really quick. First, an export bus or two. Export bus, some smart cable. We'll go ahead and make a hundred of them.
Then we're also going to need some interfaces. And we'll make 10. Smart cable there. And then this should connect. Oh, we don't want to do it with that. So let's put out a dense smart cable. So four channels here. And we're going to have that export our uh, coal. <clears throat> so we're going to export redstone with that one. Then we're going to export coal into this one for this one. Then we're going to so we need to make that purple. And then we'll do the same to this one. Front is purple. And then the top should be input and then the top here should also be input So this will slowly fill with carbon. And now, for example, when we want a steel blend, we can just say iron. Let's get some patterns. Let's get some iron. So if this is redstone and this is that, if we put a piece of iron into this, we should get enriched iron. So now we tell it that a piece of iron equals enriched iron that pattern here and then we want to go ahead and have an import bus import and maybe a second import bus and we'll just go ahead and say that this is output Project on. And this is output. Our object is already on. Oops. That again is the correct incorrect cable. So that's a right mess. So that should be that. And now if we put in an iron ingot, it should process. Blend. Now we come over here and we take the 
one of the enriched iron becomes a steel blend. That goes in here. So now we can also put in an iron ingot. All right, so now we can tell it that an iron ingot, come on, give me the iron. Becomes one of those in this machine. So that's some of our mechanism automation. Uh, now we're going to head back out here. But not that far out. I think we actually want to go into the crafting room. All right, so this one cook stuff, I think. And this one grinds. So let's go ahead and say that pattern here one steel blend equals a steel ingot when you put it into this we can chuck that back in here Go to the storage. Well, that is not a good sign. Apparently, parrots don't like cookies. Clearly, somebody has not met parrots. <clears throat> not met parrots at all. So, um... Probably all also want to make what other kind of terminals are there? Probably want to make one of these. And we can chuck that here for now. Now we won't have to go into the other room to do this. So let's look at our mechanism let's change that to crafting mode and do this but not with those let's do it with basic control circuits so basic control circuits are we're going to need an osmium osmium man where are we going to get some osmium Chuck that into here. So pattern terminal. Basic. So we need one osmium. That is a basic control circuit here. So now we know how to make these. back but a steel casing uh, any block of glass okay good enough so we can put this into, into there I 
mechanism. We want to learn how to make these. But we don't want to do that. We want to use these. So these are called installers, installer. So it should be making, yeah, we'll, we'll have to speed this up. Upgrade that, tell it to sort. So what, in fact, does the quest require us to do? Uh, we have this, but it's not detecting it, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to push that through, I guess. So how do we make these? So we can do that. advanced <clears throat> so this is going to take a little bit longer setting it up this way um, but our end in the end it will be faster because we're going to need a lot of these Dollars. Advanced. Um, so it will pay off. You just have to be patient. An advanced installer and then for the elite tier installer <clears throat> we'll need another metallurgic infuser and it specifically will be diamond or compressed diamond so the compressed diamond requires the enrichment chamber Interface, which we have. We're also going to need an import bus. Which we now have a couple of those going. Cable of smart cableness. Online, online, online. That should be eight channels right there. For this moment. Installer, we're going to need one of these, and then we're going to need one of these. Dollar. Uh, sort. Let's 
So here's the basic tier. And the advanced tier should be just behind. There we go. Advanced tier. Turn the auto sort on. And we will tell it that... Uh, the bottom is the input, left is the output. <clears throat> so if we take a diamond now, and I think we should have a couple of diamonds in there. Man, that's not very many. If we chuck a diamond in here. Okay, we're going to need some redstone flux ducts. So now we can say compressed diamonds and a regular diamond come over here. One diamond equals a compressed diamond. Pop that pattern in there. And now we're going to need another metallurgy confuser. here. Furnace, metallurgic confuser. This actually should be the last one that we need. So we'll put it there. We'll ask for a basic. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Installer. We'll ask for one of those. Ask for one of those. Uh, and then we're going to need a interface. Oh my gosh, that's kind of annoying. Interface. One interface, one import. And then we're going to need an exporter. We're also going to need a crafting card. So first thing we're going to do is slap an export bus there, slap the import uh, interface there, and the import bus there. And we're going to need some smart cable here, here, and here. Then we should be able to take the dense cable and just bring that up to three. We're probably also going to need some cable tie or cable anchors to do that because we're going to definitely need to be able to, to do this. That's 11 channels. <clears throat> So we're going to want to interface, throw this card in there, throw that in there, do that, do that. So theoretically what this should do is this should be uh, Export bus, that's correct. Import bus. So that should be the infusion. The top should be input and the front should be output. There we go. 
So it's going to take it a second to, to process all of them, since it only makes them one at a time. Um, but now it should automatically keep this full of diamonds. So... So really what we're doing is we're looking at this and we're looking at uh, infusions. So coal, <clears throat> coal and charcoal, coal, charcoal, uh, diamond, obsidian is probably going to be one that we're going to need as well. And redstone is the last one. So, yeah, I think that's really it. So we'll have to set up one for obsidian as well. But... I don't remember exactly which ones use, use this. But uh, this is a good place to call it. There's plenty more episodes to go after this. Um, so yeah, I guess if you liked it, leave a like. If you don't, don't. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. Hope you folks have a great night.